hello and welcome to At Home with Lucas. So today we're going to be talking about Fire Department Coffee once again. This time we're going to talk about their Dark Roast Whole Bean. Yes, people, I absolutely love getting whole bean coffee. It makes it so much better for this review so we can go through all the different steps we need to to figure out if this is a great bean. So in this video, we're going to be doing a hands-on with the bag. Then we're going to take a closer look at those beans. After that, I'm going to throw those bad boys over the burr grinder and break those things down. Perfect for... You got it, the pour over. After that, we're gonna do my favorite part of this whole shebang, the sip test. Yes, people, I absolutely love tasting new coffee, and I think this one is going to be fiery. <laughs> After that, we're gonna figure out is this a daily, weekly, monthly, or never consumption coffee? It does happen, people, it does happen. All right, let's go ahead and jump into it. Let's take a look at this bad boy right quick. So at the top, you have their logo, Fire Department Coffee. Very cool, I like it with the black background right there. Handcrafted coffee, small batch, proudly roasted in Rockford, Illinois, USA, baby. Woo, so this is their dark roast. This is the whole bean boom shakalaka. Take a look at the back. Pause it if you wanna read it. All right, take a look at the side over here. Very simple, okay. One-way valve is definitely doing its job. This is one of the, um, there's two different types of one-way valves that I see. This is more of a small batch, small company one-way valve, and then there's the newer ones that are just a little bit different than this, but nonetheless, it's doing its job. It's letting all the CO2 out so the bag doesn't explode. All right, let's get inside this beast. If you follow this channel, you know I am a lover of dark roast coffee, but it's gotta be sweet, people. Gotta be sweet. Ooh, that aroma. Holy bejesus, people. I'm smelling it immediately. Oh, I think I'm gonna fall in love with this coffee. Oh, look at that. Wow, okay, that is a dark, dark roast if I've ever seen one. Oh no, <laughs> beans everywhere, no, beans down. Wow, beautiful looking beans, very good job. I give you a massive applause, Fire Department Coffee. That is so nice. Look at those beans right there, people. Wow, I am not seeing any imperfections whatsoever. These are the larger beans, which are very uh, similar to, you know, the Starbucks and the Don Pablo and the other big companies out there. Wow, that is absolutely amazing. Very, very nice looking beans. Decent amount of oil. Sometimes I think there's too much oil on beans, but these have like the perfect amount of oil. Wow, that is a definite dark roast right there. This is probably in between an Italian and a French roast, if I'm gonna guess. It is very, very dark. Wow, yeah, zero imperfections that I'm seeing on these beans. Woo, all right, coming up, we're gonna throw these into the burr grinder and break them down. All right, let's go ahead and break these beans down. So we set it on medium because that is optimal for a pour over. Woo! Those are looking absolutely beautiful right there, people. Wow. All right, so we're going to do four one-eighth scoops. All right, so you want to heat your water to 190. That's optimal for pour over. So I always go up to 212 you know, get it boiling and then I let it cool down to about 190 and that's gonna do wonders for that ground coffee. It's gonna make the best flavor and it's not gonna burn those grounds. All right, let's get this brewing a started people. So basically you're just gonna soak your grounds first, very similar to a French press if you've never done a pour over. So you're gonna soak these grounds. These grounds just keep getting darker, by the way. Absolutely amazing. Look how dark those grounds are. That is so bananas. So this is just the soak pour right here. Okay, so now you're just gonna go ahead and hit it with the first pour. Woo! Look at that plumage right there. That is absolutely amazing. You've got some nice dark roast crema appearing on the top. Of course, that is not crema, but it looks very similar to an espresso shot top right there. And you can see that is a dark, dark roast. 
very very rich look at that stream right there that is amber gold right there people Woo! that is so beautiful all right hit it with the second pour so you're basically going to want to try to do all of this in about three minutes that's optimal for a pour over if you go any longer it's not going to brew as good so just giving you guys some facts that i learned along the way all right very nice looking Go ahead and hit it with the third pour right here. It is still blooming up. So when you see it start to bloom up a little bit at the top and it starts to show this sort of cinnamon swirl crema look, that is because it is fresh beans and it's a healthy bean and that's telling us a lot about what is coming with the sip test. All right, there we go, 500 milliliters, we are done. Right, we got our standard white mug right here, nice and clean. Right, so we're looking for a nice, rich stream. This is a dark roast, so it may be a little bit darker than the rest out there. Ooh, look at that beautiful stream right there. Yeah, that is looking nice and golden and dark. Very nice. Yeah, that is beautiful right there. That is a nice cup of coffee, people. Okay, for optimal sip test, you're gonna to wanna to drink your coffee between 1.30 and 1.40. Believe it or not, but your coffee will taste so much better. You'll get all the flavor notes out of the cup. Try this at home and get your mind blown. I usually drink between 1.30 and 1.35. That is the best. All right, let's get into this sip test, people. Wow, this smells absolutely amazing. It definitely has a very premium dark roast smell to it. It has this sweet note that I think I'm going to love. Ugh, it just, it, the, the look, the brewing, everything so far, top notch. All right, let's get into the sip. Wow. Of course the guy across the street has to start mowing right now. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but it is very loud. I think he's gonna go in the backyard though, okay. All right, definitely sweet. So my mouth is completely coated in this very nice sweetness, but there's also this smoky harshness that's kind of floating around with it. So it's kind of battling the two. The inhale is definitely smoky. It's thick in a very, very good way. So it kind of like hits the roof of your mouth, flows down the back and, and leaves you with this nice oily coating. As we saw from the hands-on, there is enough oil on these beans to really give it an impact. And that really gives that thickness. So when you don't see a lot of oil on beans, you're gonna more than likely get a sip that's gonna be a little bit thinner. It's gonna float down really smooth. This one kind of like lingers in the mouth. It gives you exactly what you want. You want this like nice reminder of what's in the cup so that you're like, yes, I'm going back for another sip. Yeah, that is a very, very nice dark roast. Definitely not my favorite. It's not gonna sit at the top as the perfect dark roast. The, the, the boxes are not all being checked off, but almost all of them are. I'm getting everything that I want. The only thing I'm noticing is there's a harshness that's just forming as I keep drinking that I'm not a super fan of. But if you're out there and you like that harsh hit, you want that smoky finish, you want that nice little reminder that this has some sweetness in it, then this is the one for you. Um, bitter coffees, I tend to skip and I tend to go towards the ones that have the right balance. So I don't mind a bitter coffee as long as the aftertaste, the balance, the very end is a sweet note. And that's what I always chase. Wow. Yeah, it's not too harsh though. So there is a harshness level that I, I go with and this is probably right in the middle. So it's not too harsh and it's not too weak for a dark roast. It's right there in the middle. Um, yeah, the flavor is definitely good. This is a well put together bean right here, people. 
um, dark roast for sure. It's 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 up near. I'm gonna say it's near an Italian roast, um, in between a French and Italian. It's more ah, it's more French than it is Italian. Italian roast to me has a little bit more sweet notes to it. French roast is more just straight, straight harsh. Yeah, I would say this is right in the middle between the Italian and the French roast. And I would say it's closer to a French roast than an Italian roast for sure. Um, definitely something that you can add your creamer and your sugar to because this flavor is not going to get watered down. It's not going to get covered up. So anything you add to it is going to um, work well with this coffee. So if you're someone out there that loves to put in your favorite creamer, if you're someone who likes to put all that syrup and fun stuff in, this is the coffee to buy. Don't buy a medium or a light roast. You're gonna be disappointed because you won't be able to taste the coffee at all. <laughs> you may be someone out there who doesn't like the taste of coffee, but you wanna drink coffee. Um, then yeah, go with the light roast and, and cover it up. <laughs> Yeah, this is so, it's it's weirdly smooth and yet very harsh. And it's definitely something that you could drink with some insanely sweet food. Like the sweetest food you could think of, that is the one to, to like a Krispy Kreme donut. That is the one to eat with this cup of coffee right here because it's so um, opposite. It has, it has a little bit of sweetness to it, but as you keep drinking, the sweetness starts to fade and you get this harshness, you get this earthy, you get this like oily, smoky uh, powerhouse. It's really a powerful cup of coffee that just starts to build and build and build and build as you drink it. Yeah, this may not be something that you consume throughout the day. This is definitely a morning hit. It's definitely something that if you want to wake up fast, you want that caffeine, you want that that strong, powerful flavor to get you up and going, this is the cup for you. It's definitely something that you might have to skip a couple times throughout the day. If you're like me and you drink four or five cups a day, you may wanna skip this, break it up with something lighter, and then come back to it uh, the third cup. Definitely not something that you're gonna wanna drink all day long. Um, but you will want to wake up to this because it's so powerful and it really gives you a kick in the butt and gets you going. And like I said, if you're going to add all your creamer and your sugar and all that fun stuff, this is the coffee to buy. I'm going to give it a solid 4.85. Yes, people, 4.85. It's not quite a five-star cup of coffee. In my opinion, it doesn't check off all the boxes and it's not quite a 4.8 star. It is a 4.85. Yes, people, delicious cup of coffee phenomenal almost five stars almost the best just not there um yeah Ooh. <laughs> it is so good though definitely something that you're going to want to buy again and again and again solid star rating highly recommended to everyone out there buy it okay so i've made a lot a lot a lot of different uh coffees in this pour over kettle and i've never in my life seen coffee this dark like that is legit charcoal dark people that is insane holy but jesus look at that there is zero light in there that is unreal wow that i just had to show you guys that is wild it matches my uh my stove top wow all right, there you go. That's the fire department coffee. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely click and click that like button. And if you want to join the Adam Lucas family and you want to be a part of this crew, hit that subscribe button. Every time I get a subscriber, I get a boost to make more and more videos. And it's because of you guys, I surpassed 4K. Yes, people, on my way to 5K, on my way to 5K, but I need your help. Yes, you right there. Tell your friends, tell your family. This guy's on YouTube. They should go subscribe and watch my channel. But as always, I thank you for watching each and every one of my videos, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.